and we're back, boys. Um, let's see. We are going to go ahead and go do some of these side missions over here. Because they're a little bit closer to what we would need to do. So we'll probably go here and collect this. And as we're going on our way, we'll probably save them and do the mount training thing. Go ahead and go here. There we go. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is hooked. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that they can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. Well, that's dope. You're on the right track. Keep your... Stuff in here. Nope. Oh, dang. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to booty instead of playing around with sprockets. Bomber bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Oh, dang. I'll need to call on yourself now. All things end. There's a lot on the line here. Well, what is this? Dang! <laughs> Wait, what happens if we... There we go. We'll conquer this new area and have the train Let's yard. See. So I wonder if we. Let's see. So I realize we don't have our little Y attack anymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, you can <sighs> do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Oh, dang. <laughs> wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. This little, uh, train yard is a lot more than I thought. I thought it was just like a little collect this. The and spent done. nuclear fuel the toxinol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. Dang. Let's see, that's where we came from. 
Oh, hey, isn't that Gizmo? I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Yeah, I knew this Gizmo. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. Hmm. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Yes, I have indeed. He understands history made Looper Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. Yeah, you still believe there's some good in everyone. You I still have the hope for tomorrow. Mom. He and says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Um, well, mm, I guess I'm ready to forgive. Gizmo encourages that. You should side, forgive, but, but never I'm forget. Kill that dude. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. The light shines on! <sighs> better isn't the word I would use. Right, not better. Best. You're the worst. The worst of being the worst? We're just the best! Oh my god. I feel like those two are my like, favorite Hard characters. Hard to believe in this game. the world is actually going to survive. Like, they, they're sitting there and they're just, just seemed wild. impossible till now. Constantly after the next. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Hey, hey. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone, so you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mekton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mekton strong enough to fight. It's the part of the land that suffered most from the apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination. Hmm. Okay. There's short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half. Good server. Take small breaths. That's the leftover you're looking for. Okay, made it in so we can breathe again. What's in here? Oh. I want to go over there to that though. Uh oh, I can't jump. <laughs> um, we're gonna ignore that part. It feels like an ancient dungeon down here. Likes to fall. 
Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Ah. Uh. Can't suck in enough wind. Oh, why did it spawn me over here? What in the fuck? Oh my god, we almost died already. That was terrifying. New thoughts for you. Let's see how do we get over there? Just jump. Maybe we just jump. Yeah. Too tight, and the rope tips. Dude, soon us on like the most dangerous adventure of a lifetime. Like, dang. The Healy just sent us over here so we would die. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see it. Hmm. So I always gotta look around. So you never know what's around here. Oh, <laughs> we can't even jump up there. I wish I could like upgrade his jump. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. Okay, bet. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he needs the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo puff. <laughs> The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. Let's go. Oh dang, we in a mech suit now, oh, shit. Go. Okay, the grease monkey's mechton is built sturdy, just like himself. Dang. They're all this crap out. I want to get rid of them. 
dude's a badass. He's a badass. Just when you think it's darkest, the dawn. to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Hmm. Yep, I see it. What the heck is that? Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, we can change them? Oh, I want to stop face. you now. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. For I love the music for this game. Like, it's so chill. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Dang. It looks kind of like choosing like, what to kill and what hut. to spare are the most the important hut. decisions you make. <laughs> you might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. He says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Thinks you have bigger issues than your so-called haunting skills if you're going to nitpick on his grammar. Dang. So let's go ahead and go to our Titan. Oh dang, we can't destroy these ones. You can Hello? see so much farther in the light. Why can't we suck that up? Isn't that what we're supposed to be sucking up? Come on, 
in an Iraq. Like, it's kind of weird because, like, there's certain areas that you can like, absorb the stuff, but there's certain times you can't. Wait! It's the Squip Hola! Place is just filled with critters. Need the right key? Hmm. Hopefully we get the right key through here. Once the volatization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. So he's saying the humans are going to kill themselves. This is an epic already. How it ends is up to you. the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up when you can get up to that entrance there. There we go. So as most people know in video games, you're not supposed to just go directly to where it's telling you to go. these things. Come on. I think these things are like adorable. Hold on to it. These poor little dudes are about to just like Sacrifice Looks like the really. switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow mm -hmm. through the conduct. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Let's go. Was that a new gun? Dang, that looks dope. Ultimate melee weapon. Were oh, you about to get like? Oh dang! Oh.
He says that's enough squips to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. They can't. <laughs> that sounds kind of racist. That's the special <laughs> weapon he made to store the squips in the Mecton. It will be strong enough to launch them at the Jumbo Puff. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. Okay. Dang, that thing's huge. It's time Damn, to, to stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. Fine. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. Wait. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. You need to help Gizmo defeat the Jumbo Puff before it destroys the West Route. Can't believe you turned out so good after the horrors you saw at the claws of Lupa Lupin. Dang. Says you should take care. Okay. Well, um. Just. Oh, okay. So we don't want to go there. Oh, we can break that wall right there. I feel like. Nice and clear out today. Well, we're on our way to fight the Jumbo Puff. It's gonna be our first world leader. Um, kind of scared. Don't think it's gonna go too well. Not gonna lie. Um. I guess we'll see how it goes. Imagine that. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. I like these things would be like easy to kill with the whole thing. some like hopefully good stuff in here I wouldn't figure it'd be just completely pointless hmm nervous to go fight this guy because we're not gonna be like actually fighting him in our normal suit we're gonna, or like like how we are right now we're gonna be in the mech suit and we have like little to no experience with it so that's a little um we're wrecking pace yourself there we go i guess i think this is another upgrade thing for you Wait, we can find more. I think we can use those to uh, 
take back to the dude and sit there and uh, upgrade our guy, our mech suit. So we're going to do that real quick for a bit. And hopefully find us some more. If not, we're just going to go find him like this. Let's see. <laughs> I love that little little duck sound that it did. This is that thing that I have to go through, right? Stomping time. Yes, oh, not. There's a place and time for everything, but for that sick scenario, it's already come and gone. Everything looks stunted round here. There we go. See what this thing can do. Let's see. Oh, so we do it all here. Oh, definitely going for the dragon suit because, like, why not? around here. Nothing we can loot. Hmm. Bang Shelter 7B is still there. Open and ready to shelter. Just check in here. Let's see. So we haven't really been here. But we're gonna go back to our mech. This won't last, so joy the ride. Oh, 
ugly things, dude. Boom, boom. <laughs> this oh dang not like dope as could be so we got everything the tree of life still stands question is for how long I hope I do good. Oh, wait, I forgot we had some new stuff. Honestly, I like that one more. Jump down there. We should pack the poncho. That was just made right there. Honestly, the gun's like probably the most powerful. Yeah. Oh, dang! Um, okay, I didn't know that thing could kill us.
I feel like the more I level up, the more like, like the enemies kind of level up. Like it's not based on the general, like, areas, it's kind of just based on the So like I think no matter what. You've got more than a flesh wound. Like if I sat here and I was level eight or so, like all of these guys would be level nine or eight or something. Shit, well here we go. Dang, that thing looks creepy. Oh damn. No fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Hmm. Uh oh, the jumbo pup oh, is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Fuck you, Jumbo Plot. Oh, damn. Let's go. Hey, go run away again. Go run away again, huh? Yeah, exactly. Dude, honestly, like. He kind of looks like a hollow from Bleach. Oh shoot! It goes all the way down to the stomach. Oh damn! Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. What do you mean? Oh dang! Wow! What a super-sized worm whip. That must be as big as they the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. You see, it's what's on the inside that oh, counts. That meat eats better pumped out than flushed down. Don't let it happen again. Let's go. Go down with a throw up. Can it really get any better than that? Boys, we did it. 
Our boy did it. Let's go. There we go, boys. Everything's starting to already look a little nicer over here. He thanks you for dealing with the first world eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Boom. Let's talk to Gizmo real quick. Gizmo will always make time for you. Well, let's go, boys. We defeated our world, or our first world leader. It was a lot of fun. We're level 11 now. Let's see. We're, we're making it through. Um, we definitely made it through a lot of stuff. I would say we've gone a long way throughout this game. Um, next, I hope to go back and clear some of the stuff that maybe we missed and stuff. But, uh, I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.